Hello, so this is Leon, and um, I just came down from the New York City area to Athens, Georgia, and I'm here to give a TEDx talk, and it's basically going to happen tomorrow. Uh, my talk will be on Eastern and Western perspectives on creativity, and I'll be talking in front of 699 people, and what's interesting is that just a year ago, I had social phobias issues had severe social phobia for most of my life so that's a story for another time i'm here now to talk about um istps and intps um so anyway i used to live in um athens georgia and this is my house this was my house in athens georgia and this is the cat my roommate's cat say hello hey anyway so I think this cat, which is my roommate's cat, my roommate is, uh, he's an ISTP, and I think the cat is probably the same type as he is. Anyway, I, I introduced him, my, my roommate, to the Mars Briggs um, about a few years ago, and he said it was very, very accurate, and now when he goes on dating, and he's been doing this, when he goes on dating, he'll try to figure out the girl's type, but... I found what's really interesting is that he has no issues with dating people, you know, girls of, you know, any any sort of type. Um, it's like it doesn't really factor in for him. He just, it's just like a piece of information for him. And it's like knowing the type is inconsequential. And for me, that's like a different matter. Like, usually when I try to figure out someone's type, I would want to know, oh, how am I going to communicate with this person? What would this person, um, you know, want to do or whatever. And so, anyway, so my roommate's an ISTP, my former roommate, and um, I would say that he, and I think ISTPs in general, they're the most easygoing people to live with. I've also worked with them too, and they're very, they're very cool, they're very easygoing at work. Um, it's, they're just great company. Um, at least in the case of my roommate, he doesn't really make a fuss of anything. And I think it surprises many people about INTPs and ISTPs because um, they may seem like pricks at first, like they're very pedantic people. Um, they seem to be people who would make a fuss of things, and that's people's first impressions of them because they're very uh, precise with their words, precise with their definitions, and you could tell like the whole energy of the room come down when there's like um, INTP or ISTP like nitpicking on like exact terminology, like you have to use it this way, and everyone's like, ugh, nobody wants to hear that. Um, so yeah, they're very concerned with accuracy. And I think it surprises people how they're actually like great and pleasant company. So, um, and the funny thing is, um, I later read in um, Carl Jung's book, Psychological Types, um, and it's a very dense book. And it said the exact same thing that INTPs and ISTPs, introvert thinking types, may seem like, he essentially said that they seem like pricks at first, very nitpicky. But then everyone's like surprised about how easygoing they are to live with. And they're like the exact opposite when you live with them. And they're in fact very enjoyable company. So my former neighbors were an ENFJ and ESFJ couple. And they were always asking me, so how is it really like to live with, you know, your roommate? My, my roommate's name is Cameron. How is it like to live with Cameron? Because they thought, oh, he must be like awful to live with because he <laughs> he's just like he he makes a fuss of things but actually I found it to be the exact opposite so I remember my roommate we were all sitting outside we're having beer and my roommate would be like um you know someone asked him how much you know I mean my roommate said I have one and a quarter quarts or of beer in this cup and my ENFJ uh, neighbor would be like, who who the hell like um, sex, says the exact amount of beer you have in your um, in, in like in your cup? So 
I think it's a kind of a paradox, and I realize that all types, all personality types are a paradox, and this is a topic I'll talk about later. It's like, they have like these opposite aspects of themselves. Um, so, um, anyway, well, I also found that um, what's very interesting is that INTPs and ISTPs are very considerate people. So, you know, I had an INTP roommate earlier, and he would shut the door quietly, do things like that. He's, they're very considerate. They're also very helpful. And if you had a technical issue with something, they would, you know, they would sacrifice a whole day for you. INTPs and ISTPs will sacrifice a whole day for you to try to help you out with that issue. And I'll be like, no, it's okay. You don't have to do that. But it's kind of weird. It's like they don't, they don't care. They don't. They're not. Um, they're. They're. I think they're secretly, they're secretly extroverted feelers. So. Even though feeling's not a strong point that they have, it's always lurking in the background and it's coloring their personalities. And when you live with them, the feeling is obvious. Uh, though you, you know, you ask them, "Oh, do you you know do you care about people?" They're like, "No, I don't. You know, I don't really care." But they actually have a caring nature if you actually live with them. It's like they have a. It's like a very, kind of like an innocent bond, I guess. It's it's an it's like a very fresh because it's, feelings kind of in inferior mode for them, but but it's like very fresh, um, kind of feeling. I guess I don't know how to say. Um, I guess what you could what I mean by that is that they're very non calculating about it. So um, they would help you with no strings attached. Um, they don't expect anything back from you. Um, so. Anyway, so I asked an INTP about this. Why is this the case? And he said that they use their introverted thinking, uh, which is a function concerned with um, like precision and um, coming up with a framework for how things work. They use that function. It's a troubleshooting function. They use it to um, engage with the problem at hand. And they want to solve the problem and their extra feeling wants to help you out. So actually, um, it's like they're just engaged in the problem, so they're not thinking about, oh, I'm being like manipulated or this person's like using up my time. So I actually do find that these two types are very easy to manipulate by other people. Um, sometimes people like will be too lazy to actually try to figure out how to deal with an issue, and they'll just enlist the introvert thinker to just come and appoint, appoint an introverted thinker to come and just figure it out for them all day long, all day long. So um, I'll talk more about my roommate and his ISTP-ness later and why he's like his cat.